This team won the uh, Dortmund Regional Championship recently, the first regional in Europe for this season. Um, and it's got some interesting stuff on it. Uh, the, the Annihilate without Mousehold caught a lot of attention, as it's still a threat to set up, uh, the bulk up, and get the Rage Fist going with perhaps redirection and uh, anti-status support from Clefable. The Clefable's Misty Terrain, of course, being able to prevent Annihilate from being burned so it can run the Water Terra type without having to cover for that. Um, it's also safety goggles in Iolape, which I find interesting. I, I feel like I always run leftovers on bulk up in Iolape, and I feel like there's no other item I want, but we'll see how the safety goggles goes. Then in the rest of the team, we have a lot of offense. You have Tailwind support from Whimsicott, a very strong double dragon core with Life Orb, Garchomp, and Specs Hydreigon. The Whimsicott, interestingly, also has Sunny Day, which... Combined with the uh, Terra Fire, Specs, Heat Wave, Hydreigon could do a lot of damage there. Um, complemented, of course, by the Steel type, Nasty Plot, Metal Coat, Make It Rain, Goldengo, Clefable rounding out the Fairy Dragon Steel Core, able to support all of these Pokemon, uh, not necessarily just Annihilate. Whimsicott providing a little bit of Fairy type support as well. So it's a very interesting team, a lot of strong offense. And then you can do a setup mode with the Annihilate. I don't necessarily understand how to use it well, um, looking over it right now. But, of course, we're going to get on the ladder and we're going to see what this Mouseless Ape can do. Um, but yeah, that Double Dragon Core looks extremely powerful as well. And then Goldango and Clefable complement it so nicely. This is a very weird Trick Room team here. Um, I mean, I understand Reuniclus, I understand Rhyperior. They're not exactly meta favorites, but they are strong attackers under Trick Room. Um, and then Prankster support from Meowstic. Just some good hard-hitting Pokemon in Meowscarada and Sylveon. Two Pokemon with names that start with Meow. How about that? I don't I don't know what the Arbok is here for at all. Um, it gets Intimidate, it gets Coil. Forgot what it's like to ladder after a regional. <laughs> well... Good luck, have fun. <laughs> anyway, enough talking about the opponent's team. How do I beat it? Uh, what do I have? What tools do I have for Trick Room with this team? Actually, I don't have Taunt. Um, I actually don't know how I beat Trick Room with this matchup. I mean, the Annihilate maybe if I can get it going is pretty strong here. Let's try leading Annihilate with Clefable. We'll start off with that mode, and then I don't feel like I need Tailwind into this team. Although Miascorada is fast, but I think I'll just bring Goldengo and Hydreigon, I guess. Not mess around with the Intimidate Arbok, but man, I really don't know how to deal with this team. Leading Annihilate into two Psychic types was probably not it. Um, I mean, I can pivot out to... Both of my Pokemon in the back are strong into Psychic types. I can pivot out to either one. How about we just go Hydreigon? Which I see now has Snarl. Maybe I should have led Hydreigon into a team like this. And... Hydreigon being a dark type, it doesn't have to worry about Prankster status from Meowstic. I kind of want to set Misty Terrain. Uh, you know what? I'm going to set Misty Terrain anyway in case they do um, uh, manual Psychic Terrain stuff. There's the Trick Room. They actually could still set Psychic Terrain now if they have it, but let's just go for a Snarl. And... Hmm. I can Moonblast Reuniclus. Maybe get another special attack drop. I can switch Goldengo in. I think I should preserve Goldengo, though. Let's just Moonblast Reuniclus. They switch Rhyperior in. I just go right for a Focus Blast into Hydreigon, which does connect, so I don't get my Snarl. <sighs> Guess I'll go Godango here. But it's looking pretty rough at this point. I, in fact, I think I might want to pivot, or er, protect Godango. I think I might want to protect both of my Pokemon here. And then switch Goldengo out to Annihilate, sack that to get through the Trick Room. But this is a very rough first game, and to be honest, I don't know what this team's Trick Room matchup is. It won a major tournament recently, so you can you can pretty safely assume I would think that it. I'll just chip the right here. You can pretty safely assume I would think that it has a trick room matchup. I just haven't found it. Although I think leading Hydreigon in this game would have been better than 
bring it in the back. Uh, okay, we can stall out the trick room here. Let's get damage on the Meow Stick to break a possible Focus Sash. Okay, Clefable takes the uh, Iron Head. Doesn't flinch. Gets the damage. Um, I can Rage Fist Meow Stick here. Trick Room, of course, having negative priority. Um, my attack will go off before I can set that. I kind of want to get the Misty Terrain back up. I don't know that it's worth it. I can follow me. Sack Clefable to get Goldengo in. And try to win the game with Goldengo. Annihilate will be faster than Rhyperior. Yeah, I think I think I need to preserve Annihilate if I can, so we'll do that. We do take out the Meow Stick here. The Reuniclus might be able to set its own Trick Room. And there it is. We can Rage Fist that as well. Ah, but the Sylveon will have us covered with Hyper Voice. If it's faster than Annihilate, which it might not be on this team. I can protect Annihilate. I can protect both my Pokemon this turn. Uh, avoid a possible... Oh, wait, but that doesn't deny Trick Room then, if they went for that. No, I needed to attack. Uh, I got I got sidetracked by the Sylveon and I forgot my priorities here. That's pretty unfortunate. Um, can Annihilate take a Hyper Voice if I Terrestrialize it? I suspect probably not, right? You know what? I'm just going to try it anyway. Or do I need Terra Steel Goldango in the back? Maybe I need Terra Steel Goldango in the back. Alright. Alright, um... And the second Annihilate then. Get off the expanding force. Okay, well, either Goldango sweeps this or I lose. First protect, kill a turn of Trick Room. Uh, maybe that's wrong because it lets Rhyperior in. Alright, I'll just go right for the Make It Rain. We do take both of their attacks, but no, I guess I did need to protect there. Because now I'm going to be slower than Rhyperior and get KO'd by it, unless I land a double protect. So, okay, that's what I have to go for. I played this pretty sloppily. I didn't see the, uh, the Trick Room matchup. I failed the double protect, and it's a deserved loss to start things off here. Um, one other thing, I forgot to do my usual disclaimer, but it is the case here. I don't have the original creator's EVs. I made up my own EV spreads. Most of them are pretty simple, and the Clefable one is pretty arbitrary. There's a lot that you can do with Clefable's EVs. I just kind of picked something. So no doubt this is worse than the creator's own version of the team. However, despite a pretty rough loss in game one, we're going to keep going here and see if we can turn things around. And it starts now with another unusual team with what look like some Trick Room elements, as we see Sinistra, Meowstic, big day for Meowstic, I guess, and Araquanid. But then also, Houndoom, Lucario, and Luxray are not necessarily Trick Room Pokemon. Luxray probably has Intimidate, um, Araquanid probably has Wide Guard, Sinistra probably has Rage Powder, Macha Gacha could have Strength Zap or Life Dew. Um, there could be like a beat up justified strat with Houndoom and Lucario, actually. So maybe what I do is I lead Whimsicott and something that I think can take out Houndoom, like Garchomp. Garchomp beats Houndoom but is bad into Sinistra. I could bring, I could lead Whimsicott with Specs Hydreigon. I think we do try leading Hydreigon into possible Trick Room this game. Uh, I'll bring Garchomp in the back. It's strong into a lot of these Pokemon if I get the speed control right, and I kind of want to just bring Goldengo and throw my offense at them, so let's do that. As we see the Luxray and the Meow Stick, so they do get the Intimidate off, but of course I've led special attackers. Um, does Meow Stick get Fake Out? I think it does, but Fake Out for what? They probably want to set something up with the Meow Stick here, probably Trick Room. I don't really see the Luxray accomplishing... I mean, it does get Snarl, so that's not nothing, but I don't see it accomplishing much if it gets fake out support here, so 
I don't have Protect on Whimsicott. Uh, I kind of want to just do, go for the Sunny Day Heat Wave play. Let's just do it. And if they have, like... If they have Houndoom in the back, that can kind of mess me up. But if they have, like, Lucario and Sinistra... That's pretty strong, then, for me. Um, okay. Terra Ice Luxray is an interesting tech. Not super scary with the Ice Fang, but I might want to Terrestrialize Hydreigon this next turn. I'll Moonblast uh, Meowstic to break possible Focus Sash, and I will go Terra Fire Heat Wave. And this should do... a lot of damage to most of their team. They've added to their fire weaknesses with the Luxray. I should light screen there, but... Or with the Terra Ice Luxray, I mean. And actually, the light screen does keep both of their Pokemon from getting KO'd, but... I Dragon with the Fire Terra takes that Ice Fang pretty nicely. Um, I'm not gonna... Sw I kind of want to switch to Garchomp here to up the pressure, but I don't want to switch it in on an Ice Fang. If I'm, you know, in the event that I miss Heat Wave. So instead... gonna go Moonblast Heat Wave again. The fact that they're not switching Houndoom in suggests to me that perhaps they didn't bring it. Which is good. I've made myself somewhat weak to Houndoom here. Of all things. Though I do have Garchomp in the back. But we'll see what they bring in here. Well, I mean, they know what they're bringing in because they have only two Pokemon left. But they did take their time before bringing Lucario and Sinistro, which are exactly what I wanted to see. Um, Lucario cannot be faster than Hydreigon, so I don't need Tailwind. Let's just Moonblast and Heatwave again. Lucar as Lucario doesn't even show extreme speed here, and Heatwave just takes out both Pokemon. Alright, so that was very different from the first game. And we saw... The Terra Fire Specs Hydreigon put in work with the Sunny Day support from Whimsicott there, even through the opponent's light screen. That was fun. Now we get a Sneasler team. Of course, there is going to be at least one of those. Um, it's here with Talonflame, Tyranitar, Garchomp, and Goldengo. Four familiar faces from the main team I've been working on lately. And also Glamora, which is an interesting piece on a team like this. <laughs> My opponent was quick to reject open team sheets there. So they might have some surprises cooked up for us. Uh, this is a very standard, well, mostly a very standard composition these days. So I should have a, a good matchup to find into this. Um, but again, I'm feeling a little uncomfortable with this team, which is not a criticism of the team. It's It won a major tournament very recently. We can safely assume that it's very good. But something about this team just isn't quite comfy to me so far. But we'll try to find what we can do into this. Um, I think we bring Goldango for sure. But I don't think we lead with it. Maybe we do, actually. It's strong into a lot of these Pokemon. We can do Whimsicott, Goldango lead. Um, I don't hate Annihilate here. I don't love Annihilate here. No, let's bring Garchomp and Hydreigon in the back. And just go with an offensive mode again. They lead Talonflame Goldango, so it's Tailwind and Goldango on both sides. I've seen some Talonflame run Flare Blitz these days, I run it myself, so I, I'm thinking about Terra Steel Shadow Ball into their Goldango, but there is some risk to that. Um, I could go Garchomp. I could go Hydreigon on a possible... Shadow Ball. Let's do that. And I've set my Tailwind. They just go right for the Terra Steel, so my Shadow Ball would not have been super effective. And they go right for Make It Rain. I thought maybe they'd go for a Shadow Ball into Goldango. Instead, I've sacked High Dragon without really wanting to. <clears throat> and that's actually very bad for me, because now I have Goldango, which has to be afraid of Talonflame, Flare Blitz, maybe, and Garchomp, which maybe has to be afraid of Talonflame, Will-O-Wisp. I guess Will-O-Wisp, I don't know the usage stats. I think Will-O-Wisp is probably more likely than Flare Blitz. You know what? I'm just going to go Goldango and go for a Nasty Plot, and if they have Flare Blitz, then they got me. But, oh, I also, I'm 
I'm sleeping on the fact that I can uh, encore something here. So actually, I can encore their Talonflame into Tailwind and go for a nasty plot. And that covers for a Flare Blitz. I guess that also opened up some plays for Garchomp that I didn't think about. I'm still not that used to Encore, to be honest. Um, I started playing... Well, I started going to tournaments last year, but I started playing VGC-style formats in Sword and Shield when Encore was probably at the worst it's ever been because it didn't work into Dynamaxed Pokemon. But... Try to attack here. But, uh, yeah, so I'm, not, I'm still not really used to playing with it now. Um, I know that it is good now, but I, I, I don't necessarily make the best use of it. Hmm. I can just click Make It Rain here. Well, except they can probably KO my Goldango, right? It's probably safer for me to Earthquake and Protect. Ah, they Protect though. So they get me with that. Fair enough. And we do see the Flare Blitz on the Talonflame. <sighs> okay. Um, I might just lose this one. Try to take out their Garchomp here. I believe I'm running max speed. Oh, but they have Tailwind now. But they can't set Tailwind and use Flare Blitz in the same turn. So... Attack Talonflame, they go Flare Blitz, and they do take out Goldango. So that probably will decide that. Their, their last Pokemon is the Sneasler. It probably has a Focus Sash. So let's try to take out their Talonflame first, but we're just going to lose the Sneasler here. I don't think... Oh, oh no, wait, 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 wait. It's Rough Skin Garchomp. So... It doesn't matter if the Sneasler is a Focus Sash. Its Sash can be broken. Um, I will cover for a Fake Out here. But yeah, its Sash will be broken when it attacks Garchomp. So, I think I should just try to get rid of Sneasler right away. Stomping Tantrum can't miss, right? Okay. Yeah, but their Pokemon do too much damage. There's no getting around that one. Did they poison Garchomp with that Dire Claw? Yeah. But even if they hadn't, Talonflame would have finished me off in the next turn. Play until one more loss. Um, yeah, that last game... <clears throat> letting the High Dragon take that Make It Rain really put me on the back foot. From the get-go, and I just couldn't recover. Here we've got a Quackleball. Although that's not that unusual these days. What's more unusual is the Torterra and the Star Raptor. A lot of cool Pokemon in this team. And a very pretty Vivian pattern. Um, hmm. There are pieces of this Annihilate matchup that I like, but I don't know that I like the whole picture. My Dragon should be pretty strong into this team. The Gardevoir is an issue, but I do have the Fire Terra. I could lead High Dragon and Goldango. And that gives me a lot of offensive coverage here. Bring Whimsicott in the back, and... <clears throat> uh, I don't know, one of the other three Pokemon. I don't love Garchomp that much here. Nihilape is good into some of these, but I don't see the whole vision. I could just bring Clefable for follow me support. I'll just bring Garchomp because it's strong. That's kind of my default answer, it seems, in these situations. They lead Staraptor, Vivian, and it's not Intimidate on the Staraptor, which means it's reckless. Goldango will not take boosted damage from Double Edge, and uh, it resists Brave Bird. So that's something. Hydreigon is in a bit of a worse spot. I'll switch Hydreigon out to Garchomp. I think Garchomp is less useful in this matchup, and I can get rough skin damage on the Staraptor, potentially. And the other thing about Goldango, of course, is that with good as gold, it can't be put to sleep with the Vivian Sleep Powder, so... I feel pretty safe to just set up a nasty plot here. Oof. But I shouldn't have felt pretty safe, because Goldango takes... a lot of damage from Brave Bird 
It will not survive another one. <sighs> Alright. Uh, I'll protect on Garchomp's mandatory sleep turn. They can just Brave Bird Goldengo again. Yeah, I mean, that'll KO if I leave Goldengo in here. Do I sack Whimsicott? Doesn't feel very good, does it? But, Whimsicott has the tr has the Focus Sash, so as long as they're not double targeting it, I can get it in and then set Tailwind next turn. I think that's the kind of play I have to make here, and I'll try again to attack the Star Raptor because I want that thing gone. Yep, Whimsicott gets knocked down to its Sash. Vivion attacks Garchomp, so Whimsicott survives the turn. Garchomp did stay asleep. Um, we'll get the Tailwind here. But, but Whimsicott's definitely going to go down this turn, so once that Tailwind wears off, it's gone. You see the Gardevoir switch in, so this Dragon Claw, even if Garchomp wakes up, will do nothing. But... Man, I kind of want to switch... I kind of want to switch Goldango in on this Gardevoir, but it doesn't feel safe. Like, I don't know what the Gardevoir has in store, you know? It could throw off a Shadow Ball. I could target it with a Dragon... Well, no, I can't target it with a Dragon Claw because it's immune. If I target it with a Ground Attack, is what I'm saying, then Star Raptor switches back in for free. I can target Vivian. But I don't think Garchomp... I think Garchomp just gets KO'd after that if I don't Terrastalize it, but I don't think Terrastalizing Garchomp is worth it. Let's just attack Vivion and Moonblast Gardevoir. Gardevoir protects, so Garchomp will actually survive this turn, most likely. Knock Vivion down to its Sash. Garchomp does not survive the turn, fair enough. Get Goldango back in here, and I'm just gonna click- I'm not messing around this time, I'm just gonna click Make It Rain. And Moonblast into the Vivion slot, potentially getting the single target Make It Rain. They show Volcarona in the back, which is probably the Pokemon I least want to see here. I'll go out to Hydreigon and hope it doesn't just eat a Bug Buzz, and I'll try to finish off the Vivion now. Bring in Staraptor. Finally get Staraptor off the board, but that kind of feels like small potatoes at this point. I will get a second Tailwind at least. Unless I think it's more worth it to... The alternative is to Encore Volcarona into Flamethrower so I know it can't Bug Buzz, but no, I'm just going to Terra Fire Hydreigon. Then I resist Flamethrower, Bug Buzz, and Giga Drain. And also Moonblast. Um... I can even go for the Sunny Day Heat Wave if I want, instead of setting Tailwind. Let's do that, it'll be cool if it works. Okay, it doesn't KO anything, but it gets off a lot of damage. We take that uh, Dazzling Gleam pretty nicely, and now I get Goldango in next to Hydreigon, and I feel pretty safe to go Heat Wave. I don't need a nasty plot. Better to cover for a miss, so I'll just Heat Wave and Shadow Ball a slot. Actually, I'll Shadow Ball the Volcarona slot, because I think that's more valuable if Heat Wave happens to miss both. Okay, hey, Heat Wave takes out Gardevoir. Uh, they do get Vivion back in. Is Vivion going to be faster than Hydreigon? What's the speed? No, it's not going to be faster. So Heat Wave should KO both here, and again I'll Shadow Ball to cover for a miss. And we figured this one out in the end. With the Terra Fire Specs Heat Wave Hydreigon with Sunny Day support, putting in a ton of work again. I might not be the comfiest with the team overall, but that set has been very cool to use so far. Um, and I'm having a lot of fun with it. And that means we'll get another game now. Uh, as we see Whimsicott Typhlosion stuff, and Sneasler Dragapult stuff, and Double Dragon with the Hydreigon. And for good measure, a male in DD to protect its fast teammates from pri priority, and being male, it's a bit better than the female at also throwing off attacks of its own. So a lot going on with this team, looks very strong. Um, Hydreigon is probably decent into this. 
but the Sneasler is an issue. And Dragon Darts are an issue too. There are a lot of issues actually. <laughs> well, High Dragon covers some of this team. How do I best cover the rest? I feel like I need Tailwind though, to match their Tailwind. Honestly, Clefable is okay here. I can do Whimsicott. Goldango? Ah, that loses to Typhlosion lead. I can do Whimsicott, Hydreigon. Terra Fire if the matchup looks rough. Garchomp. Let's do Whimsicott, Garchomp, Hydreigon. I kind of like Clefable here, but... It's Goldango for the offense. Garchomp, I think, best covers for their variety of possible leads. As here, we'll just set Tailwind and Stomping Tantrum the Typhlosion slot. It's Head Dragon. Okay, yeah, that was a little silly of me. However, Garchomp is probably faster than High Dragon. However, High Dragon could have a strong Terra type. Let's Encore their Whimsicott and protect Garchomp to see what the Hydreigon does. Play this one a little more carefully in the first turn. They're also running Terrifier Hydreigon. Whimsicott's locked into Tailwind. Heatwave will break my Whimsicott's Sash. But now I can double up on the Hydreigon slot with Moonblast and Dragon Claw. And that'll hurt anything that switches in. I don't know if it KOs Hydreigon, but Hydreigon's in a tricky spot against my Garchomp anyway. And yeah, nothing wants to switch in on this. You see Dragapult switch into the Whimsicott slot. And Hydreigon takes decent damage, maybe less than I'd like. And we see that theirs is not choiced as it takes out the Garchomp with the Draco Meteor. Not ideal. I can get Hydreigon in here and go Terra Fire. Dark Pulse? That's pretty strong in what they have so far. Switch Whimsicott out so I can get Tailwind back up later. <clears throat> Excuse me, so I can get Tailwind back up later. That said, Goldango doesn't have a safe switch in here. But Whimsicott is immune to Dragon Darts. They might want to pivot their High Dragon out. I'm just going to leave Whimsicott in and hope for the best, basically. And I will Terra Fire and Dark Pulse into their Dragapult slot. They U-turn Dragapult out, so they do KO Whimsicott. And I, maybe, I, depending on what the High Dragon does, maybe I could have switched Goldengo in safely. Um, Whimsicott comes in here, so it'll take this Dark Pulse. Actually, it does a lot of damage with the crit, but oh, and then they show Snarl on their High Dragon. Which means winning the game with my High Dragon is a tall order at this point. I think here I want to Dark Pulse into their High Dragon. Actually, I should protect Goldango. Because they can set Tailwind and guarantee that they get their attack off more quickly this turn. Yeah. I can't match their Tailwind anymore. So my High Dragon takes a special attack drop. Hopefully it can still KO their High Dragon. Not quite. That's unfortunate. But now we'll just uh, we'll just Dark Pulse High Dragon and Shadow Ball Whimsicott. Actually, let's just Nasty Plot with Goldango. I don't think Encore works. Even if they have Encore, I don't think it works on... Ah, um, uh, they're running Sunny Day Tech too. I don't think it works on Good as Gold, is my guess. So, yeah, we... we we, uh, we reverse the Snarl drop and we actually get a boost there. 
Um, if I'm winning this game, it's with Goldango. But if that's going to happen, I think I need to crit this Typhlosion with Dark Pulse right now. I think that's my win con. And Hydreigon is going to get KO'd before I can even get the attack off. And Goldango will lose to Typhlosion from there. So, kind of fitting that the last game of the video is a loss to an opposing um, Terra Fire Hydreigon because... Yeah, I never I never ended up doing very much with the Annihilate. I don't necessarily know what matchups it's for. Um, and I wouldn't say that I ever got especially comfortable with this team. I didn't get the hang of it. Uh, obviously, the original creator did an amazing thing, won a major tournament with it. Um, there's a lot of great team building and a lot of great pa practice and gameplay that goes into that. And I don't mean to denigrate any of that, but... You know, we all have our different levels of comfort and experience as players, and this was a team that I couldn't get very comfortable with in this laddering session. But, all of that said, the Spex Terra Fire Hydreigon with Sunny Day Whimsicott was a lot of fun to use, and where I won games, it was that set coming through. Um, Maybe Typhlosion and Whimsicott is actually something I should try out in the future if I liked the Hydreigon version so much. But yeah, interesting team for sure. Uh, if you try this out, you might find that it works better for you than it did for me. But uh, that's it for now, and I'll be back with some more tournament-proven teams sometime soon, no doubt.